So leaving aside that, in sequential order, about seven uh, agenda points were attended to, and one which related to data sharing was also taken up. So um, the meeting ended at 1.40, something like that, and we've come before you. I'll ask Sanjay and Vivek to get into the details of the decisions which have been taken today. And there will also be a press release which will be shared with you. Sanjay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, as Honorable Minister has uh, informed, basically we had two major uh, agenda items, one related to the tax rates and the others related to uh, some procedural and law related changes other than you know the routine agendas uh, confirmation of minutes notifications placed for ratification some exemptions which were given so uh, the major decisions which uh, the council today take uh, today took I think one major path breaking uh, recommendation is with regard to decriminalizing certain offenses three kinds of offenses have been recommended to be decriminalized they pertain to obstruction or preventing any officer in discharge of his duties deliberate tempering deliberate tempering of material evidence failure to supply the information moreover the threshold limit of tax amount for launching prosecution in any criminal offense defined under the GST laws. The limit has been increased from 1 crore to 2 crore for all offenses other than those involving fake invoices. In the same line uh, of providing, reducing uh, the workload of the Courts, compounding amount has been decreased. Right now it is 50% to 200, 150% of the tax amount. So this has been reduced to 25% to 100%. Certain uh, decisions were also taken regarding rates. One of them is relating to husk of pulses, including chilka and concentrates including churi, khanda, etc. This attracts 5% rate. This has been reduced uh, to nil. Previously, when it was used as cattle feed, it was exist. Uh, it was exempt. But when used as a cattle feed ingredient, it was being taxed at 5%. So this relief is being given. The other uh, exemption relates to extension of the 5% tax on ethyl alcohol presently 18 percent for blending purposes already we had allowed five percent reduced rate for blending uh, with petrol by the oil marketing companies now this exemption is being extended to the refineries as well so this will further promote our efforts on blending and reduce our dependence on uh, imported crude and thereby save precious foreign exchange. Uh, then a number of uh, clarifications uh, were given basically uh, so as to provide clarity because uh, some tax authorities were taxing at assessing it at one tax rate, other authorities at another tax rate. I think it's a very good idea if such kind of circulars are issued on a regular basis. So in line with that, uh, uh, council decided to issue circulars relating to RAB, FRIAMS, which will attract 18%, which are already attracting 18%, but just a clarification so that there is no doubt. Similarly, uh, the CES, applicability of CES on SUVs, this was uh, clarified and certain clarification was also provided for 
the equipment and materials used by petroleum companies for exploration, uh, etc. It was also decided to include uh, supply of mentha arvensis under reverse charge mechanism as has been already done for mentha oil. A major decision was taken today uh, for to facilitate e-commerce for micro enterprises. You would be aware in the last meeting, 47th GST Council meeting, Council had decided to extend to allow the e-commerce operators to supply the unregistered uh, the products of unregistered vendors, dealers, as well as composition taxpayers. So uh, the modalities for that in terms of the changes it would require in the law and the rules, etc., were approved uh, by the council. Then there were a number of other matters uh, for relief and clarification for the taxpayers. Uh, one pertaining to the years 17, 18, 18, 19 as to how to deal with the mismatch of uh, the invoices in uh, GSTR 1 vis-a-vis -vis GSTR 3B. Uh, so that will further help in uh, the administration of uh, tax. Another clarification pertains to the no claim bonus which is offered by the insurance companies. So it was it it is it has been decided to clarify that this will not attract any GST. No claim bonuses, as you are aware, offered by insurance companies when uh, the insurance when the insurer does not claim any uh, compensation. Uh, under motor insurance or any other insurance. So these are, I think, uh, the major uh, uh, the major decisions taken by the council. We'll of course be circulating a detailed press release. Thank you. Question. 